Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to welcome to another Ask Nandro. This is gonna be the week twelve of Ask Nandro. So I'm behind, I believe, two weeks. So I, so I do need to do a thirteen and a fourteen, which I'll be doing probably today when I when I finish getting my chest. Anyway, so this is about two weeks old. So as a result, some of these questions are not quite relevant, but let's just go, let's just go ahead and jump into it. So the first three are from Sakia. He asks. What is your proudest prediction of meta card prediction in Shadowverse? Sorry, prediction of meta or just card prediction in Shadowverse? So, mm, I have a few. One of them was, well, I guess my claim to fame is is seeing Polyroar as not a meme and and not like a bad card before other people saw it. Additionally. Mm, Additionally, it was seeing Thane, for, uh, sorry, seeing Immortal Thane for, for being a good card, because a lot, a lot of people were like, oh, no, 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 like, this card's, like, not gonna be good, but, like, if you think about it, this card has comparable stats to that of Dr. Boom from Hearthstone. Dr. Boom in Hearthstone is, like, got, is, like, a god-tier card, or, sorry, was a god, well, it was, like, a god-tier card, uh, back in its prime. Like, I mean, even now, it's still, like, a good card, but, like, yeah. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, uh, Calling Sybil and Oro as both being good. Even though, the, even though, like the entirety of Reddit, like it was like, which is you know all like, quote unquote confirmed dragon means all said it was trash. Yeah, no, I saw, I saw it being good. I knew it'd be good. It was good. Uh, additionally, seeing Carabos is good. Like, you know, for the most part, like I usually don't get met very many, if any, of my. Well, I'm not gonna say if any because I, I obviously do get like a few wrong here and there. But I usually get the get the majority of my of my legendary card predictions correct. So, I think. The only one w which I'm standing to be incorrect about at the moment is Python, only because I said Python would be good. Like I, I, I do, I, I do still even now think it's good, but like but a lot of people like don't don't like agree with me. And at the moment, it does not look as though as though sh as though side games is gonna like support it at least in this set, but still a very very good card and and de and definitely a card to think about in future sets. All right, his next question is Fate collab. All right, so yeah, like I said, this was two weeks old, so. Uh, fake collab. Are you hyped? Are you are you playing? Yeah, are you playing with other with other servant classes? So when the fate when the fate stay night collab comes out, I will probably try to pick up. E uh, pro probably also in the leaders just because like I really really do do like the fate stay night series. It's it's definitely a good series to watch if you haven't seen it. Like obviously go ahead and start with like fate stay night. Uh, and it's it's probably like it probably has like a cult following at this point. Now that I think about it. And I'm definitely hyped to watch to watch uh, to watch Heaven Heaven's Feel when that comes out. Uh, the one I'm the the leader that I'm probably the most excited for is probably Saber, just because I'm tilting Sario with it. But uh, wait, is, is that is that here in this thing? No, it's not. But yeah, like if you don't know, like I believe we talked about this in week eleven. But uh, <laughs> but Sario also likes the Fate Stay Night series as well. Like he's a really good friend of mine. But he really likes Saber, and Saber did not go to and Saber did not go to Sword like everyone kind of expected it to go to. No, uh, Saber actually went to Dragon, so I'm planning to just like tilt the shit out sorry with that. So it's gonna be like, it's gonna be hilarious. Cannot wait. Like if you if you're not like part, if you're not part of his like Discord or whatever, like you, you should have seen it when it got like confirmed that that Saber was gonna go to Dragon. He was so mad. <laughs> Best 20 minutes ever. Like actually, just so funny. Oh, okay, well, yeah, uh, and that was actually his, his third question. Yeah, so, uh, if you somehow haven't heard, like, uh, Chu Chu Lane, uh, the, wheel the wielder of Gay Bolg, uh, he's actually gonna be Sword. Now, if you, again, if you haven't, like, actually seen the series, he's notorious, well, the, <laughs> the Lancer class is, 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 is notorious for, and mind you, this is spoilers, so if you don't want to hear this, just, you know, go ahead and skip, like, uh, go ahead and, like, skip ahead, maybe, like, 30 seconds, but, but they're notorious for, for somehow being always in a position where they have to kill themselves. Like, it's actually just hilarious. Like, okay. The next question I got was, are the cards too, are the cards so far too boring? Now, again, this was two weeks ago, but before they, like, dropped that, like, mother load of just, like, cards uh, just like release upon release upon release in the last like six or so days so generally it doesn't matter to be quite honest 
it doesn't matter if, if, if like if, if, if like initial reveals seem like boring or anything like that just because like you should know or rather you should have faith that okay well not not all not all of these cards are going to be boring because like again like we were we were like maybe say less than less than a fifth of the way in, in, into card reveals and people were just like oh my god this set is gonna be so boring it's gonna be so bad like like there's gonna be nothing interesting or whatever like and i do think to some degree that you can't have like interesting and not broken in the same in the same in the same context uh to, to some like to some like great extent but i'll be talking about that in, in a separate video <sighs> but yeah i I, de I definitely really like the card so far I, I, like i definitely like all of them like i think the only thing that i think the only one that i actually like don't like all that much is prime dragon keeper but only because like it's really hard to abuse prime dragon keeper so that's well that's like fine when are you gonna upload your next Take Two series? Uh, probably the next time I get another five O. Uh, I did upload me drafting a deck, but I did actually, but I did actually scrub out with like three decks in a row. So, uh, yeah, I usually, for me, I don't like playing Take Two that often, just because I'm more of a constructive player. But when I do play Take Two, I usually, to to keep myself from getting tilted, I usually go, I usually go into the, I usually go into it with the mindset of, okay, well. If I lose a game, I'm, I'm just gonna stop playing because it, like it's not it's not worth it because like I'm I'm I, I'm I'm yeah I'm, I'm aiming for as many five of those as possible just so I can get that like taker of two flare and yeah like 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 if I lose like I like, clearly like the, the um getting that five oh becomes unattainable it becomes it becomes un unobtainable and it's just like not worth it for me at that point like I, I would actually probably like get more out of playing ladder. Unless of course I have a quest, in which case I just like I just keep playing anyway because like I got I want to do those quests. When will we when will you be making the dragon discussion video? Oh okay, so I haven't talked about it yet, but I do plan on making uh, a segment similar to this one where I just like discuss I just like go out and to discuss like only dragon or whatever. Like I'll probably be like maybe like once or twice a week, maybe more. Not sure. And, and that segment will probably be called, like, The Dragon's Den. But I might have to switch that title with something else, just because, like, uh... I know that that title is, is like, already, like, is already a title that's, like, being used on, like, YouTube at the moment. Alright, so now Time, aka Reminiscence, he asked me, Tanks, Airplanes, or Warships? So... I wasn't sure if he asked me, if he was asking me, like, which one I prefer the most. Uh, for me... I play tanks whenever I play stuff like League of Legends. Like I, I, I usually like strong, like tanky can like take a lot of damage, but like not die. Sort of, sort of a, uh, sort of play styles. So, so I usually like tanks. I've been on a lot of airplanes. I've, I've actually, I've actually traveled uh, over quite a bit of the world. Like I have, like there are some places I haven't been to, but I've been to like mm, at least maybe like 30, 30 to forty percent of the world, maybe. And then more ships. Uh, okay. So I'm pretty sure this warship question is to, is specifically to tilt me, uh, because, all right. So when Python got revealed, I was like kind of tired, and I wasn't, I wasn't like, I wasn't looking at like the entirety of uh, like the entire picture of Python. So at first, I thought he was like an airship, which was kind of weird to me because like at the time, I thought I thought only Blood and Sword got airships. It wasn't an airship. It was actually a dragon. So so now. Uh, on some of the Discord servers that, that I'm on, that, 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 that I share with him, like, uh, he goes, I was ready to, to tilt me, because now, the, because now the meme is, oh, is this a dragon card? Tell, tell Nandre it, it's an airship. <laughs> His next question is, if we have Dark Sybil, what would her card be? Uh, to be honest, I feel like, okay, so, as you may know from, from Sybil's, like, lore, in, in her card description, she's a priestess that dances that dances for uh, for her dragon to, to, to grant to grant blessings on the world now now obviously like if, if she was if she was dark I, that, would, that would make her a dark priestess and she would probably dance to try to bring to try to bring calamity now I don't quite know exactly in what form I would like that to be I, I think I, I think I would probably would like that to, would like that for her to be like maybe summoning a dark dragon that that also does like aoe to the board or maybe say something summoning say like a fafner for free or, or something crazy like that now obviously this would not be a five mana card it would definitely be like a 10 mana card but uh but it, that is something that that, that maybe like to see and then doc but asked, okay well so these like last three questions are all like tied together but uh <laughs> 
All right, so so start with, with Kiri's question because that was that was the, the, the initial trigger for this. It's an alternate universe, and your friends are playing different mains than they are IRL. Who is playing what? Now, again, as I always say, whenever I whenever I get into the into these like friend questions where I have to like list all my friends, if I didn't list you, it's not because I didn't. It's not because I don't think of you a friend. It's not because I don't think of you as a friend, or or, or um, or, or like I don't like you, or whatever, or like I want to or like I want to exclude you. No, it's always because I every time I do this. I, I always forget. To, I always forget to like save like my entire list of friends or people I know uh, to to do these because because I'm I'm usually expecting every single time for it to happen for it to be like a one time thing, and then and then it turns out to not be. And I have I apparently have a lot of friends. No, I'm I'm not trying to be vain. I, I actually really do have a lot of people that, that I like talk to slash interact with each and every day on Discord. Like I believe the current count is like 26, 27, which which is surprising to me because like I usually don't talk to many people per day. Anyway, so so to be honest, like a, as I say here as a caption, like part part of why you guys will be getting some of the classes you'll be getting is either because I, I thought of this as sort of like a, a sort of a sort of like a bizarro style like reverse world. So if I know that there's a class that you hate. I probably put you as that. I probably put you as that class. Or if I know, or if I know that there's a class that that, that your class is similar to, I I, I I put you that. Yeah, I put you as that instead. Like say for example, Saria. I know that Saria hates. Well, Saria did at one point hate Shadow, uh, just because he, he just because like his his class was a class that got bodied by Ektar. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, but, but so like for his case, I I put I marked him down as Shadow because like, again, I know he I know he hates Shadow. And that whereas, like, say for Kiri, he he as well as well as, as well as the Death Breath trio as a whole, like necromancy is is similar to is similar to reanimation. Well, well, I, I mean, I, I guess they are like the same thing. But but necromancy and, re and reanimation are like similar to thing to things as say like constructing artificial life forms, such as say say golems, which is why I put them as rune. Anyway, jumping into jumping jumping into these, Kiri would be Rune, Sorry would be Shadow, Time would be Forest. I put Time as Forest because like I don't actually don't know what he doesn't play. Uh so I just put him as Forest just because like I figured, oh, well, maybe counting will be hard for him. For Room, I put him down as blood. Again, I don't really actually know know what know what like Room plays per se. I the only thing I do know is that is I have is I've like as I've as I've almost like never ever seen him talk about like blood ever. So I figured, okay, well he probably doesn't play it that much. For Thani, her classes will be dragon and forest. All right, so the reason the reason why, uh, the reason why her class is gonna be dragon is because she doesn't like playing dragon. She doesn't like playing this particular style. Uh, this is this particular style of dragon and shadow. It's just because like you she she's like she's like a she's an MTG player and and ramp in MTG works a lot differently than it does here because because here you kind of like ramp out and you play big things one at a time and they kind you kind of just like bully your opponent with, 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 with like giant things that they can't like deal with. But in but in uh, but in Magic the Gathering, ramp works differently in that you ramp, and then you kind of like OTK your opponent from like from just like crazy as fuck things that that, that required like that, yeah, that required like a smorgasbord of mana, which you have because you're playing ramp. The closest that, that we get that we get to maybe say Thani style of like dragon is, is is like the drag queen combos, but those are kind of inconsistent because like you have to find the drag queen and you have to find your two pieces. And then you need to be in a spot where that where that's enough to kill them. Like like you can't actually kill them directly just because like the motion deals the motion can deals is eighteen, but usually it's gonna be fourteen, so you still have to find that other six damage, and that's sometimes difficult to do. Her second class is gonna be forest because like again, I, I've like never seen her talk about forest ever, so for Kay Sherry, her class is, her class was, was always going to be dragon, just because like <laughs> The other day, I was watching her stream, and she got tilted because, like, this dragon player healed for, like, 28 and killed her, and she was playing sword, and it was, it was funny. Well, it was funny and sad to watch. <laughs> so, naturally, her class is gonna be dragon. For Spire Wrecker, his class is gonna be shadow. His class is gonna be shadow just because, like, I, I don't think I've... Well, I've seen, him I've seen him talk about, like, shadow. I've seen him talk about, like, most classes, but shadow is a class I think I've, I've seen, that I think I've seen him talk about the least. So, naturally, that's gonna be his class. For Sakya, again, he's part of the Death Breath trio, so his class is going to be Rune. For Azazika, his class is going to be Haven. Uh, right, so, I, so I put his class as Haven just because, like, if I remember correctly, I believe he said that he, that he hates playing Haven, so that's so, so I put his class as that. 
For Gumi, her class, also Haven, because I know because I know she hates playing amulets. For Prep, this class this class is gonna be Sword, just cause like uh I'm pretty sure he hates Frog Sword, so yeah. For Suicidal Chanter, his class again gonna be Sword. Uh this one because he hates Agra Sword. Or at least I'm pretty sure he hates Agra Sword. Or not Agra Sword, uh Amber Sword, I'm sorry. For Sisney, his class is gonna be Dragon. I know he hates Dragon. So well sorry. It's not that I know he hates Dragon per se. Well, I know he doesn't like playing Dragon, but uh but it's just one of those like because I know he doesn't like playing Dragon, it, it would be funny, at least in my mind, to force him to play Dragon. For Senran Kagura, uh, for Senran Kag Kagura again, his class is definitely Dragon, because I know I know he hates Ramp. Like uh, a lot of people hate Ramp, so yeah. If you got Dragon, it's most likely because it's most likely because I know you hate Dragon. So there you go. For Gakpo, again, see above Dragon. For Mop Hero, his would be Forest. I don't actually know what, what Mop Hero plays per se. I, I do I do remember seeing him play Dragon that one time, but uh but I don't actually know what his main class is. So yeah, for the most part, like if I didn't know what your main class was, I had to just kind of blindly guess, which is why I which by I might have you know guessed and said like strange things that like might not actually be true. Like for example, you might actually be the best Force Man in the world, and I, I wouldn't actually know. Um, for Trixie Six, his class Haven. Specifically, probably like the neutral Haven for Luna. The last member of the Desperate Trio, her class again, Rune. For Zami Zayn for Life, his class of, his class will be Blood. The reason why his class will be Blood is because like, if I remember correctly, I believe at one point Zami Zayn for Life, it, it was it was like a joke in, in the in the Fate vs. Discord that he wanted to be that he wanted to be like writer class and that he wanted to be written, I believe. So so naturally, I I made I made his class Blood because writer is gonna, is going to be the Fate State Knight leader for Blood. So yeah, I figured I figured it'd be funny. For Jordan, aka Jordality, his class Dragon, because I know he hates Dragon, so <laughs> For Dave, as well as well as Steve's, I yeah, as I said here, I literally don't know what they play, so my so my best guess is Rune and Blood respectively. <laughs> for I play Mouse, his class is gonna be Rune, because he well, I know his name is is based off of Malzahar from League of Legends, and Malzahar is a mage, so yeah. Rune. For Nighttime 3, his class would be Shadow. Again, see the same thing that that was for Saria, because like, he, Nighttime plays Sword. Sword Sword usually gets bodied by like Midrange Shadow, so yeah. Oh, okay, well apparently- oh, okay, no, no, no. Uh, for Zero Kite, his class would again be Dragon, because I'm pretty sure he doesn't actually like Dragon that much. Well, he, he doesn't like playing not- he doesn't like playing like the like traditional like Ramp style Ramp Dragon, so. For Ult Pre, this class would be Forest. I, I've, I've like never seen Ult Pre talk about Forest ever, so I figured that's probably a class he doesn't play that much. For Crack Grenade, his class would be Haven again. I don't actually know what, what Crack Grenade plays. Like, I yeah, I, I, I like I meant to ask, but I just like never got around to it. But yeah, so his class would be, would be Haven, and then for Asos, his class would be Sword. The reason why his class would be Sword is because like his name reminds me of that Aatrox again. This is another this is another League of Legends character. So yeah. And then going back up to the top really quickly, Gokpa asks, if you could meet Ultra Nanjiro, how, what would he look like? Which craft main will he be? Etc. Etc. Okay, so for Ultra Nanjiro, I believe he'll probably be, probably maybe a little bit more taller than me because because he's in like because it's like the like the reverse like Borzaro style world. I believe he'll probably be maybe like mm, a little bit darker in like personality and whatnot. Like just because like a lot, lot just because like one like quality that I guess I have that a lot of people that a lot of people comment on is oh wow you're really really nice and you're really really like chill and whatever so so in his case he'd probably like a little bit more agitated a little bit more dark uh, I believe he would probably play shadow hmm yeah he would probably play shadow or haven most likely probably haven but but again like it go either way just because like well as well as forest just because like. Those three classes are, are the classes that you that usually see me play the least of, specifically Forest as well as Haven, and and it makes sense that that would be like my counterpart. Like like he probably be a, like I said a little, a little bit more angry and a little bit more like calculating than I am. So so therefore because he's because he's less likely to make a mistake, he's he's most likely willing, want, going to want to play a combo class just because like. I mean, just because I make mistakes when I play combo class, like I don't always play them perfectly, and, and because I'm not expecting, because I'm yeah, because I'm expecting him to like play it perfectly. In my mind, that makes the most sense. Additionally, because Forest 
at, for for like the longest time was the was the was basically like like the arch enemy of like of dragon just because like if you play droge you're always going to be dragon because like dragon can't really deal first that well so naturally if they eat 19 damage in one turn well that's just a dead dragon anyway that's all the questions for this for this week if you enjoyed the video go ahead and leave a like go and hit the subscribe button if you haven't uh as always if you have a question for ask Nanjer, just you know drop it drop it in drop it in one of the many many discords i'm a part of ask me on twitter ask me and ask me down here in a comment you know find me wherever just ask me and i was and i was go ahead and i talk about it either either the next week or the week after and i and I also go ahead and tag you too but yeah oh before i forget one last thing shout out to Gakba for, for making it to a to making it to aa1 i'm really really, really pr i'm really, really proud of you dude yeah but yeah Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya!